Hello, my name is David and here at Tektro. Today we're going to replace the sensor control on Tektro's e-brake lever. Tools needed today will be the signal sensing tool, the lever sensor checking tool, a 5mm Allen, 4mm Allen, 2mm Allen, and a 7mm open end wrench. Let's start by removing the set screw. Next, using 7mm open end wrench, I'm going to take out the sensor. As you remove the, the sensor, there is a spring in there that you're also going to want to get out. Like so let's replace new sensor. First we put in the spring. Slide the new sensor in. And we'll, we'll tighten it down just a little bit. And then next what we'll do is we'll set the lever up into our sensor setting tool. With the four millimeter, Alan, I'm going to slide in the bar and just snug down, lightly tighten the lever onto the bar. Like so. Now I'm going to install the lever sensor checking tool. Using 5 millimeter, I'm just going to lightly turn, very lightly tighten. In order for the sensing tool to work correctly, the blade must be touching here and here at the same time. You need to make sure you, you can use this adjusting tool. This is the lever adjusting reach, and I'm going to roll this out until it equally touches this point and this point evenly. Once you have got the lever touching these two points, you turn this out of the way so that we can install this part in here and this is turned here so that now we are going to adjust this in order to have it properly inserted. Okay, now I'm going to attach the signal sensing tool. First, you must plug the signal sensing tool into a power outlet. I'm going to contact, make contact to the two points. Does not matter which one it is, they both work the same, like so. I'm going to thread in the sensor until my sen signal sensing tool lights up. Be careful not to go too fast. You do not want to thread the signal sensing the, the signal in too far. There we go. The light has let up. I'm going to back this off just a little bit and check to see if the lever comes. So when I turn this back over, my sense. The sensor should light up and then this is and it turns off. I'm going to disconnect the signal sensing tool and use my five millimeter Allen to take off the lever checking tool. Now let's install the set screw so that we can lock the sensor in I've reinstalled the signal sensing tool 
just to verify that the reach is set properly and then I have light coming onto my sensors checking tool. 